Hey Chino, today it's yet another Friday. And it's time for a new GNOME week. So, week 24 with many things, but for the moment we'll bother it only with this. For start you will find the app on Flathub, and the first time you will launch it it will look like that, but that's only for quickly testing it. Hum, let me demonstrate to you what it does. So imagine you have a MIME type, for example a JPG image, and for some reason you need to open it with a different program each time. So by default it will open with the image viewer, but it will require some extra process if we want to open it with GIMP for example. For such cases we can speed up that process. To succeed that, our first move would be to set Junction app to open the JPG images by default. So next if we press enter on a JPG image, it will launch Junction and it will make super fast to open our file in the app we want. And we don't need to use the mouse really. For instance if we want to open it with the image viewer, we can press 4, because it is the fourth option in the list. Another thing is that we can search for more apps, which is obviously most obvious. But what's really great with that, is that it will memorize the app so next time we can start it even faster. So if we select drawing here, the next time drawing will be added on the list, it will be first, and we can simply press enter and one for quickly starting it. But that functionality extends far beyond the file manager. Checking for updates on Resolve? Junction can allow us to select the web browser for the downloading. The application is written on JavaScript, and by the way, you know how we don't have accent colors yet? On Junction's about we'll see yellow accent for the links, which is actually the accent color of the full app. I guess we're fitting better with the logo and getting a persona, and it looks like a nice touch. But even nicer is the system panel, it shows lots lots of information. Even what Linux we're using, just to make sure it is not an Ubuntu.